Friggy, say hi. hi. Hello, Mama. Hello. Pura vida. Pura vida. Welcome. Right now, I'm going to do a quick advanced mat workout. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's get to work. Go ahead, lie down. Stretch yourself nice and long. Inhale, exhale. Soften your front ribs. Reach through your toes, side body. And then float the arms up. Inhale, lifting your head, curling up. And then exhale, float your legs to your working level. And let's pump for the 100. Inhale. And exhale. Ten full deep breaths. Really accent your abdomen in and back as you exhale. Stretching your legs long, lean away from you. Long, long legs. Always a two-way stretch. So from the core of the pelvis, you reach the legs away from your center. And up as this chin, the navel pulls in and up all the way up to the roof of your mouth. A couple more rounds of breath. Keep the wide collarbone. Let's take one more deep breath in. Finish your exhale nice and strong. Hold the body strong and still. Float down in one piece. Inhale, exhale. Float the arms up, inhale, lift your head, exhale, pull your stomach back to come forward. You can keep your feet flex or point your ten toes. I like to point my ten toes to lengthen through the front of my hips. Set your frame, inhale, up, exhale, over, two, three. Let's take about five more. Really try to articulate through your spine as you come up. And articulate through your spine as you roll down. Keep that awareness of your two-way stretch. From the core of the pelvis, arms, legs reach forward, abdomen pulls back. Always hugging the muscles to the limbs of your body. You always want to stretch your body with a lot of strength, a lot of muscle tone. Let's take one more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale, abdomen pulls back as you stretch forward. And then roll down bone by bone. And then anchor the head and shoulders down, wide collarbone. Pull your stomach in, legs up. You're going to inhale, lift up to go over. Open the feet hip distance, and roll the spine down. Together, inhale up to go over. You want to think of stacking the hips right up on top of the shoulders. Accent up to go over. Open and stretch. And reverse, open, lift up, to go over. I'm keeping the toes pointed, nice and long through my ankle. You can choose otherwise, it's not, a, it's not bad to flex your feet. This just works better for my body. Keep working your chest expansion, your upper back. Now keep the right leg up, left leg down, leg circles, over. Exhale up, inhale over. Keep that chest expansion, your upper body. Keep your symmetry in your pelvis and your hips. Reverse. Keep pulling up through your side waist as your leg reaches long in opposition. Long through your right pelvis, hip. Good, scissors switch the legs. Reach, point your left toes, flex your right foot. Right leg is your strong standing leg. Keeps that strength in your upper back. And reverse your circles in and out. You can always start small and then challenge your strength and take bigger circles, keeping that awareness of your center, that stability, and that two way stretch. Bend both knees into your chest, lift your head up, elbows wide, rock and roll up to see it, rolling like a ball. Take eight times, inhale, roll it back, exhale up, and inhale back, exhale up. Always roll back to come up. Keep a strong center. Stay behind your sit bones as you come up. That low abdomen is your break. Three more times. You draw those heel bones to your sit bones. Round back, start to finish. Last one. Whoops, there we go. 
Scoot back in the middle of the mat, roll down, face to the shoulders, right knee in, single leg stretch. Pull, pull. Scissor, pull, pull. Strong pull today. Really pull the knee up into your armpit. Strong reach with the opposing leg. Let's do two more sets. Total of five sets today. Double leg pull, both knees in. Inhale, stretch, one piece, circle and pull. Hold on to those ankles, inhale and exhale. Really reach up toward your ankles, elbows slightly wide, collarbone wide. One piece, two more. Long and thin through your middle. Stretch those legs with strength away from your middle. Legs up, scissors, pull, pull, scissors, switch. Long and lean. Keep your symmetry. As you hold on to your right ankle, draw that right hip down and forward. Left hip down and forward. Two more sets. Abdomen pulls in and back. Double leg, lower lift, legs together. Inhale to lower, hug your midline. Exhale to come up. Squeeze those muscles to your leg bones. Reach those legs out of your way. Three more times. Elbows wide, collarbone wide. Legs lower down, abdomen pulls in and up in opposition. Find that two-way stretch in your body one more time. Traction yourself. And crisscross right knee in, rotate from that navel line. Curl up, twist, curl up, twist. Keep lifting up as you come past center. Let's do two more sets, elbows wide. Really look behind you with your eyes. Last one for good measure. And rock and roll up to seated, spine stretch forward. Good, toes up, knees up, hold the arms up, wide collarbone, inhale, chin to chest, exhale. Forward fold, just forward fold into yourself here. Inhale, restack your spine, chin to chest, exhale, forward fold into yourself. Get a good stretch each and every time. Forehead in between your kneecaps. Abdomen in and up off your thighs. I'm doing the best I can to ground my femurs down into the mat. Pull the sides of my waist in and back. One more time. Pull back to stretch forward. Restack your spine. Now, excuse me, now you're gonna point your ten toes, draw the pelvis under you, maybe float the legs up. Catch your ankles, chin to chest for open leg rocker. Inhale back, exhale up. Find that sweet spot right before you roll over those sit bones. Stretch long through your kneecaps, long through your elbows. Keep that C curve of your spine, tail to head. A little lift of your chest as you come back up. Within your collarbone always. Let's do three more. You're really just trying to articulate that spine. Last one here, inhale. Exhale, draw the legs together, hug that center line. Keep a fine little teaser here as you roll the spine down. Float the legs up for your corkscrew. Accent up to go over, chest expansion in your back. Roll down that right side of your spine, circle the legs. Up and onto the left side of your spine, center. Roll down the left, massage up the right. Each side gets a turn. Opposing shoulder head. Anchors down with a little bit more awareness. Good, let's do one more set. Find your center always, a little pause there. And then roll down the right. Up on the left, find your center, little pause, hug your midline. Roll down the left. Up on the right, find that little sweet pause. Now really squeeze your midline. Drag your toes on the mat if possible as you roll that spine down. Float up for your saw. Same position like um, uh, spine stretch forward, excuse me. But now we're going to keep the elbows bent and we're going to rotate in our center. Inner rotation here and then reach your right arm back. Get that tricep working as the left arm reaches forward. Forehead to left knee, right kneecap, eyes at left waistline, pulling back. Deepen your twist, come up. Elbows bent as you rotate. And then stretch, left arm up and back, right arm reaches forward. Pull back in that opposing right waist. Rhythm and flow, let's do four more sets. Rotate and twist, two, three. 
A lot of dynamic going in this one. Do a round back to stretch, a tall back to rotate. We have a lot of lifting in our side body and a lot of twisting in our abdomen. Trying to put it all together. It's a nice stretch of the back body. Keep stretching with strength, hugging your muscles to the length of your bones, especially your back arm. Do one more set here. Inhale, exhale, two, three. Inhale. Exhale, two, three. Pull yourself up just for the kicks of that inhale. Reach those arms, lift yourself, exhale. Two more times. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Lift yourself, keep that lift, arms float down. Hold on to your stomach for swan. Hands and make shoulders, stretch your legs up and back. You're gonna hug your midline as you inhale, come up. Roll those shoulder heads a couple times. Make sure you're not locking your elbows. Widen your collarbone, reach out as much as you lift up, and here we go, swan dive. We're gonna inhale, top here, and exhale, inhale, exhale. Three, two, one, catch yourself. Widen your collarbone, stretch it back through your legs, open through your collarbone, and lower back down. Push yourself up onto your form, single double leg kick. Just practice lifting your thigh bones up first. Lengthen your neck, forearms down, have them in and up so we're not collapsing into our shoulders and our neck. Now keep that muscle tone, the hamstrings, as we kick, kick, and stretch, and kick, kick, and kick, kick. So really aware that you're using your muscles to kick your leg. Squeeze your inner thighs, hips are grounded, abdomen's drawing in and up, collarbone widening, chest lifting. Two more sets here. A nice quad stretch while you're at it. Double leg kick. Lie down on your right cheek. Hands behind low back. Hug your midline. Kick three. Anchor your legs. Hug your midline. Curl up. Two. Three. And again. Stomach in. Root to rise. Watch your elbows hyperextending. Bend them up a little bit. Wide collarbone. Let's take three more sets. Keep encouraging those inner thighs to stay glued together. Work that reach through your middle of your pelvis. One more time. Stomach in and grow. Two and three. Hands down, push yourself back. Little child's pose, stretch your back, inhale. Stay for your exhale, really enjoy it. And then come forward onto your shin bones. We have chest expansion and thigh stretch to follow. Knees are hip distance with apart. I'm hugging into middle. Middle. I'm going to reach my arms for soft elbows. Visualize I have some straps and I'm pulling them down and back. Wide collarbone, strong back. I'm going to look over my left shoulder, come through center. Look over my right shoulder, come through center. And exhale. Inhale, strong long arms. Reach down to pull up. And look. And look. And exhale, you can alternate your gaze. So inhale, stomach in, reach down back. Wide collarbone, strong upper back. Exhale, let's do one more time. Inhale, push down, shins, hands, strong back, and look. And center, and look. And center, this time arms go all the way up. Stretch your body long. And we're gonna inhale, hinge back from the top of the knee, still hugging your midline. And then exhale, reach all the way back up. Try not to collapse in your hips, but reach through the front of the hips. Feel that really strong stretch of the quadriceps as you hinge back. And feel those hamstrings help pull you back up. Keep aligning your neck and head. We've got two more. How low can you go? Pull yourself up. Last one, hinge back with a lot of strength, a lot of length. Pull yourself up. Now just for the kicks of it, let's hinge back. Draw the left arm back, roll that shoulder back, reach up, up, up with your right arm. Maybe add a little rotation here. Keep drawing this top or this left hip forward. And then come back, thigh stretch. Right hand down, roll the shoulder up back, reach up, up, up with your left arm, and that right arm continues to reach down. Right hip draws forward. Do that one more time, thigh stretch. And take a little twist, a little back bend. 
hug that midline, and then come center, and then take a little twist. Then your navel line, keep your hips drawing forward, and then again, thigh stretch, and pull yourself all the way up. Arms lower down, have a seat for neck pull. Legs are hip distance width apart, roll down, hands behind your head. You're gonna inhale, lift, exhale, waistline pulls in, forehead to knee, round back, inhale, stack, Lift, hinge with that extension, and then soften abdomen, ribs, and then stretch your neck by drawing your head back into your hands. A little more rhythm. Inhale up, exhale, over, two, three. Inhale, grow tall. Keep that long spine, and exhale, soften in. Inhale up, exhale, over, two, three. Restack, grow, hinge, get longer. Scoop and lengthen down, neck stretch. Couple more times. Keep those elbows wide, collar wide. Strong, long back. Keep softening into it. Exhale, keep those heels reaching away in opposition. See traction in two opposing directions always. There's always a two-way stretch. One more time. Inhale, exhale, push the mat away. Restack, grow tall, hinge long, and exhale. Get that nice neck stretch on the way down. Okay, make sure you're in the middle of the mat. Roll the shoulder heads up and back. We're gonna lift your hips up and over. Get those shoulders underneath you. We're gonna hold on to the base of your sacrum. Reach the legs up and then forward. Open collarbone and we're gonna do our little scissors. Keep the wide collarbone. Keep lifting your trunk through the reach of your legs. Pointing your ten toes, strong in your outer thighs, and take it into a bicycle. Reach down as you cycle. Keep opening your chest. You may have to fix your rip, supporting that low back sacrum. Good reverse. Abs in and up, in and up. Wide collarbone, long torso, longer legs. One more cycle. Good. Then bend your knees with control. Keep the hips up as you lower the feet down. You can always lower down completely if you need to. Hands supporting your sacrum, shoulders back, wide collar. Shoulder bridge or inhale, reach the right leg up and flex to lower down. You can keep supporting your sacrum here like I am, or you can simply lower the legs down, or arms down. Just three times, other leg point to kick up, flex to lower down. Keep the hips symmetrical. Lower the left foot. Hug the midline just for the fun of it. Hands behind you for full wheel. Shoulders roll up back. Hug in, hands and feet. And inhale, we'll pull ourselves all the way up. Three breaths here, I'll deep inhale. And exhale, draw the collarbone wide, chest through the frame of the shoulders. Really use those legs. Inhale, exhale, chin down, throw back. Really lengthen your trunk out of your pelvis. And then bend your elbows lower to the base of the skull, ridge of the scapula. And then roll the spine down. Rock and roll up to seated. Spinal twist to follow. Hug your midline. Again, you can point or flex. I prefer to point. Let's hold on to our shoulders for this. So we're not twisting with them. We're going to inhale, grow our torso. And exhale, rotate three times to the right. Two and three. Center, exhale, rotate, three, two, one. Keep going, keep growing taller and winding your spine. Feet, legs, hips should not move. You wanna twist from the navel line up and grow taller as you push the mat away with the backs of those thighs. Two more sets, taller and taller. Always think of your inner body, giving it a nice little inner squeeze. Not a nice, not an external turn. And last time, twist and twist and twist. Reach the arms forward, roll the spine down. All right, center yourself on your mat for jackknife. Anchor the shoulders, chest expansion in your back. Legs up, perpendicular to your hips. We're gonna inhale, lift up to go higher. Hug the midline, keep the reach the inseam of the legs and bone by bone, roll down. So simple, over, hips over shoulders, 
and up. Stretch your spine through the reach of your legs. Keep the muscle tone, keep the hug to midline, and lengthen your spine to lower. Three more, over to stretch, up. So much power, so much pull to center. Good, again, over and up. Accent down through your head, through your ridge of your scapula. Keep the neck long and strong. One more time, over, anchored head, ridge of the scapula. Reach the thighs high through the mounds of the toes and roll it down. And nice job. Go ahead from there onto your right side. Okay, here we go. Side line leg series. Hip, shoulder stack. Side body super long. Float the top leg up. You'll inhale forward two times and exhale back two times. Keep it buoyant and light. Keep a strong reach through your middle. A strong two-way stretch, even here. Let's take three more for a total of seven today. Wide collarbone, long reaching bottom thigh. And now up and down, inhale, float it up. Exhale, reach it down. Longer and longer legs. Toned and long abdomen, pulls in and up in opposition. Lots of variations you can do with this up and down, but the most important thing to remember is to reach out of the hip, to go up, to go down one more time. Now bring that top leg in line with the rest of your trunk in tiny little circles five times. Reverse your circles. Keep hugging that center line. And then we'll go right to bicycle. Top leg back, inhale, bend your knee. Knee to chest and stretch. Sweep back. Three cycles and we'll reverse. Long and longer. Good, stack, reverse, kick it forward, bend the knee, knee to knee, knee draws back and stretch. A lot of connection from your middle through the pelvis, out through your toes, keeping your frame. Good, bend that top leg, draw the inner knee down, draw the shoulder back and take an inhale. Stay for your exhale, nice and long through that side hip. Let's do a little um, supine twist. Keep your hips stacked, but just draw the opposing shoulder back. So hips stay stacked as you rotate through your middle. Take a deep inhale, lengthen pubic bone to sternum. And then exhale to soften your waist and in and back. Use your hands, pull yourself up, and just onto the other side. No fancy transition. Just line yourself up, hips, shoulders stacked, side body long, hips forward for a little, or legs forward from your hips for a little base. And here we go, inhale, pull, pull, and pull, pull. Light and buoyant, two-way stretch, strong and long through your middle. Find some connection. You wanna keep a nice little tempo so you don't ever sit too long in one particular position. Keep a strong reach, that's so important. One more time. And now up and down, inhale and exhale. I'm showing you a little external rotation of my top leg. I get that nice long reach to my inner thigh. I feel my outer hips start to strengthen a little bit more. Keep elongating through that right side body as you kick the right leg out to go up, out to go down. Two more. Long reach through your middle. And now right into those little circles. Keep a strong long reach through your center. And five. Abdomen in and back two and hold get longer and reverse abs in and up in and up there's a strong long reach two good right to bicycle sweep it back from your sternum through your pelvis bend your knee knee to knee forward and stretch try to keep your hips stacked as you draw the knee up so the hip doesn't go with the knee it stays put and then Reverse, sweep it forward, bend the knee, knee to knee, draw it back and stretch. Integrate your whole body from the crown of the head through the tips of those toes. One more time, reach and then bend the top knee, inner knee to inner knee, shoulder head draws back, nice length through that middle, heel to bottom. 
And let's take our spinal twist now. Keep your hips stacked. I'm just drawing myself the torso toward the middle of my mat. I'm going to take a nice breath in, lengthen. And exhale, tone my abdomen as I rotate. I always get a little adjustment here for my right side. It's a little tighter. There we go. All right, go ahead, pull yourself up. Lie down. Let's do a quick little teaser. I'm going to do a nice teaser one. We won't do tons of teasers today. Then stretch your torso long through the reach of your arms. Get long first. Set your frame, lift your head up, pause, find your center. Now the center is going to pull back as you stretch the arms and legs forward. Within your collarbone, big breath in. Keep the reach, arms and feet. Exhale, stomach drags you back. Get long. Two more. Inhale, lift, pause, feel your center pull back as you stretch forward. Smile, big smile always helps. Keep the reach, hug in, exhale, belly pulls you back. And stretch, one more time. Set your frame, inhale, lift, pull back, to go up. Find a beautiful teaser, a two-way stretch, arms, legs, waist pulls back. Inhale here, pull the stomach in and roll down. Notice the whole time my feet didn't drop. My feet stay a little higher than those knees. Okay, good job. From there, let's go ahead and have a seat. This next one is hip circles. This is awfully hard, especially with long legs. Roll those shoulders up and back. Lift your chest, lift your spine. I'm going to bend my elbows. Some of you can come onto your forearms, but watch your chest sinking. Pull your legs up. I'm on my pelvis here. But I'm trying to lengthen. I'm trying to lift my chest. Squeeze my rear legs. Inhale, circle the legs right to left, and exhale up. And circle left to right. Exhale up as the legs circle down and forward. Keep opening your collarbone. Keep the strength in your back. Find that two-way stretch from your pelvic center. Legs one direction, spine the other. Good pause there. And that's plenty with that. Flip over onto your stomach for a swim. Stretch your legs. Reach those arms. Prioritize feeling your middle here, okay? We're going to float the arms and legs up. Get long. Try not to tense in the neck. And right arm, left leg. Left arm, right leg. Start slow. Align your neck and head. Feel your back. Find more length than lift. And let's up our tempo. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Find more extension. Keep reaching long and strong through your center of your pelvis. Wake up your whole back, if it's not already. One more breath. Finish your exhale. Grow longer, longer, longer. Maybe higher. And then push yourself up. Little quick child's pose. Stretch your spine, lift your shoulders, release your head. <sighs> Okay, that always feels good. Okay, leg like pull front. If I'm on the floor, I go like this, but if I'm on the carriage, I'm gonna go like this. Watch your elbows. You wanna keep your shoulders right on top of the crease of the wrist. Throw the toes under, heel, ankle on top of toes, other leg meets, find your plank. Good, hug your midline, and we'll fold the right leg up, and we'll kick it up as we press back one, and two. Land it, left leg up, you get up one, work from the inner thigh. This is leg pull front. Two more sets. Stomach in. So you get that little tendon stretch through your opposing leg. Keep pulling length through your neck and head. That two way stretch. Hold your frame. Hips and shoulders stay square, even with the leg lifting up and kicking back. So good. Leg pull back. For the transition, left hand to the right hand. Take your left foot underneath your right, and then swing that top right arm up, around, and can you do it? <laughs> Maybe. Watch your chest. Lift it up. Lift your hips. Hug your midline. Kick your right leg up, and lower, and left leg up. Try to keep those hips up. Reach to the inseam of those legs. One more time. Up, and up. Good. Kneeling side kicks. Bend your bottom right knee. Good, and find your alignment. Hip on top of knee, bottom hip 
forward, top arm up, bend your elbow, lengthen your neck, shoulder back, float the top leg up, and kick it forward two, and back two, forward two, do the best you can, keep drawing the bottom hip forward, good, get a nice and long, tiny circles, three, and two, one, get longer through your head, through your toes, reverse, three, two, one, that's plenty today, pull yourself up, other side, shoulder head back, reach the top arm, bend the top elbow, shoulder back, find your connection, find your alignment, bottom hip forward, top leg up, kick, 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 find connection, best you can, now get long, Bottom hip forward, abdomen, ribs in, tiny circles, three. Top leg stays lifted, reverse, two, and three. Pull yourself up. We have our side bends to follow that. So have a seat in your right hip, work that right shoulder back. Here we go, we're gonna inhale, lift our bottom hip up, squeeze our legs together, and stretch into our side plank. Lengthen your neck, push the floor, Lift your bottom hip, squeeze your thighs with control. Knees can bend as you lower. Watch that shoulder, keep it back. And inhale up to go over. Push the ground away, hug your midline. Hug front to back. Exhale with control. Keep that length on your right side. One more time, inhale up to go over. Now keep reaching. And then we'll exhale, lower the top arm, squeeze your thighs, watch your right shoulder. And inhale up and over, try two more. Keep pulling length out of that right hip to right shoulder, stomach in. One more time, work that middle, squeeze your inner thighs. And up, 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 up. Lift, 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 lift. Lower the bottom knee, pull yourself all the way up. Here we go, side two. Have a seat, hip, shoulder stacked. Same principles, shoulder head back. Watch that elbow. Okay, here we go. We're gonna inhale, root to rise, up and over. Your gaze, I like to keep it chin down, throat back, and really prioritize that reach and that length of the back of the neck out of the base of your sacrum. And then with control, have a seat. Watch that left shoulder head, inhale up and over. Push down, hug your middle, stretch your legs with strength, always. And one more time, inhale. Oops, the obstacle of the Cadillac. Now pause here, watch your shoulder. We're gonna reach the top arm down. Smile, hug your middle, waistline in, and then press down to come up. And again, squeeze your middle, tone your abdomen, and up. Reach, so much strength is required for this one. And then up, 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 up. Sky's your limit. Keep going, keep squeezing, keep reaching. Good. Arm leg down, pull yourself up. Very nice with that. Okay, from there, let's go ahead and have a seat. This is one of my personal favorites it's called the boomerang. Right leg on top of left, arms are going to reach forward. Belly pulls in and up. Pause. Open, close the legs. Find a teaser. Stretch. Weave the elbows through, open your collarbone, and forward fold, two, three. Circle and reach, two, three. We do it again, here we go. Up, to go over, open, close. Squeeze your middle, find a beautiful teaser. Open collarbone, pull back, to go forward, shoulders up and back, circle and reach. Two more times, here we go. Up and over, round back. Keeping your round, open your collar, even around here. Go back to go forward. One more time, arms reach, they can help. Stomach in back, stack hips over shoulders, keep that lift and length. Wide collar, weave, open, and with control, forward fold. So go around and stretch. We have our seal, clap, Tap your hands inside the legs and pick up those outer ankles. Squeeze arms into thighs and thighs into arms, elbows slightly wide. And from our hip, beat, two, three, roll it back. Stack, beat, 
two, three. And I'm working the beats from my inner and outer thigh, not my feet, my periphery parts will follow. They'll do what they're told. And I keep squeezing in my thighs into my arms and resisting that. That helps me open my low back. Let's do one more and we'll go into our crab. Lift and beat. Good, come up. Now simply, you're gonna cross your right ankle or left on top of the other one. Hold on to the outer feet. Roll up onto the top of the shins and then pull your stomach in. Arms are long, look at that. Stomach's in, head anchored. And then try to keep that. Roll it back, hips up. From your hips, again, open, close. Sort of hard, the boundary of the cattle. And then again, round and broaden and open your back, head to tail. Feels really good. You gotta give yourself some space to do that. Open, close. Feet are strong, so you're not sickling your feet either. I'm gonna be cautious not to somersault off this. I'm gonna be good. Good, open, close. Stomach in, abs in and up, nice and high. Arms long. Let's do one more time. Round back, start to finish. Open, close. Where do you need to round and lift more? Where do I need to do it? I'm sure you can see. Good, have a seat. From there, flip over onto your stomach for rocking. All right, now reach again. Find length always before you just pull yourself into something. You want to lengthen first. All right, you're going to bend your knees, roll those shoulders up and back, bend elbows a little bit to catch your ankles. Make sure the elbows stay bent and you're just not hanging. Bent, shoulders lifted, strengthen your upper back. And simultaneously, you're going to kick up into your hands as you draw your chest forward. Hug your midline. And we're gonna rock and lift your thighs and lift your chest. Try not to move from your neck. It's tempting. Three and two. Really open the front of the waist. Hold it, lift it, and release. Press up, do a quick child's pose. Almost done here. Balance control. Lie onto your back. Okay, reach the legs up and over for like your roll up. Okay, I'm gonna come on a little bit differently. Okay, so my feet will touch the mat. I'm gonna circle my arms around, hold onto my left ankle and stretch my right ten to my right five toes up. I'm gonna hug my middle, so my outer left hip reaches to my mat or my right big toe. I'm gonna reach my spine through the reach of my leg. Wide collarbone, head anchored, strong neck. Keep some muscle tone and scissors switch the legs. Catch your right ankle at the same time that left leg binds the ceiling. Outer hip tacks to that left inner heel. Hug that midline. Scissor switch. Stomach in and up. Trying to keep those hips lifting higher and higher off your shoulders to keep lengthening your spine. Stretch up. Reach, 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 reach. How long can you go? Good, and then just simply lower that right leg, oh, excuse me, to finish sides, left leg up. Reach, 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 hug in. And then simply lower the left leg, and then roll it up to standing. I have the help of the Cadillac. Turn yourself around, and we'll do three sets of five push-ups. All right, feet parallel, or heels together. I'm gonna work parallel, I'm gonna inhale, take a breath. Chin to my chest, exhale, round my spine, forward fold, shoulders back, walk it out. Heel simply lift, five push-ups, hug in, hand, hand, shin, shin. And I'm gonna bend, inhale, push, exhale. Keep my shoulders lifted, collarbone wide. Two, look always forward. Pause, bend your knees, pike your hips. Walk back, four, three, two, Back to your forward fold, roll up to stand up. Shoulders on your back, inhale. Chin to chest, pull the stomach in, forward fold. Try to keep the hips stacked right up on top of the ankles. Watch any hyperextension of your knees. Find your plank, pushing the mat, toes and hands, hugging the middle, shin to shin, hand to hand. And inhale, exhale. 
I don't bend my elbows quite that far because I want to stay more lifted in my center. But I can definitely probably challenge myself a little bit more. Walk it back. Forward fold into yourself. Release your neck. Release your head. Roll up to stand up. Center of your ankle. Center roof of your, of your skull. One more time. Inhale. Lining it up. Chin to chest. Exhale. Keep pushing down to pull up. Forward fold. Release the shoulders, neck, head. Walking out. Keeping that sense of midline. And last set of five. One. Push the floor away. Push the floor away. Broaden and lift into your whole back. One more for good measure. Pike your hips. Stretch the heels. Lift your heels. Just a little accent here. Stretch long. Walk your hands back. Forward fold into yourself. Release your, your head. You can soften your knees if you need to. Otherwise, stack your posture up. Shoulders roll up and back. And there you have it. There's the advanced workout, mat workout. I hope you had a great time. And I'll see you next time. Bye.